Hello everyone, uh, this is Vivel from Seller Foundation and in this video I'd like to give you a demo on how to build on Minipay. Minipay is a crypto wallet created by Opera Mini that it's built on Cello. and if you want to create app inside Minipay, uh, you can follow this documentation, go to docs.seller.org, click on build on Minipay, and you can follow the whole documentation on how you can build a app for Minipay. and it's really similar to how we usually build apps. But in order to test your app, you need access to actual Opera Mini beta app. And so you can click on this link to get, uh, this link will redirect you to a uh, Play Store and you can download the beta app. And then you can click on this link to actually get access to Minipay. And once you have the access to Minipay, you follow the installation steps. And when, once you have created an account, this is how it looks. And uh, you can click on this little compass icon to uh, see all the apps that are already created on top of Minipay. And you can test your own app clicking on this open button. But let's see how we can build it. And you can just run npx at Cello Composer and create. And it will ask you a bunch of questions like uh, which framework do you want to use? So let's use React, use Invocate, select none, no subgraph. And I'll not actually create a project because I've already created one and installed all the dependencies. So let's go to that folder. I'll open it inside VS Code. And you can see it actually creates a mono repo with React app. And all the dependencies are already installed in this project. And you can see if you go to components and header, inside here, I I'm checking if there is Windows or Ethereum and there's this field called is Minipay. So if you open this app inside Minipay, this will be true. And if that's the case, I'm hiding the connect button because uh, in Minipay, we don't need to show the connect button. It's directly injected inside your web view. And inside here also, if it's a hidden button, I'm not showing the connect button. And let's start this actually. Um, packages. We'll run yarn dev. And it's live. So go to <coughs> localhost. So this app is basically supported inside a mobile app as well as web app. It's asking us to give a wallet connect ID. So we'll go to wallet connect, get this ID, create a new file inside our React app called .env.local. And uh, if you see inside app, uh, we have, this is the variable name. We'll just set this variable name, restart our server. And it should be live right now. Yep. You can see that since this is open inside a browser, we have connect wallet button, click on connect, click on MetaMask, and it's connected. We have our address. But as you can see, if you open it inside a browser, we have this thing where we see the connect button and your address and everything. But once we open it inside Minipay, we don't see this. So let's open it inside Minipay. And for that, uh, we'll need ngrock so you can just go to ngrock.com download sign up for it you can download it executable and i already have it here so let's go to desktop and you can see i have dot ngrock you can run it by this command ngrock and since my website is opened on port 3000 i'll just say http 3000 press enter and what ngrock does is it will allow you to test your website over the internet to different devices and you can see all the data that comes to the 3000 port will be redirected to this particular uh, uh, URL. So you can go to test app, click on open. And here it asks for a uh, URL. So you can type your this URL inside here. And as you can see, once I put in this particular address over here, I can access the uh, page inside and you can see there is no connect button if you go to the drawer also there is no connect button because uh, minipay actually injects the connector and gives you address and all the functionalities that you need and yeah that's how you can build a simple dap on minipay thank you so much